Hi guys, um, thought I'd get round to finally trying out this uh, Smithy Magician. I've got a few bits and pieces here, some scrap knocking about that I'm going to give it a go with. Um, and also just to mention I've put uh, a little ad addition which is uh, for a stop. Just a bit of square with a hole in it and a, and a, a bolt to hold it in. Just so that you can repeat uh, jobs if you need to. So I thought that was quite a handy little addition. Right, but I think it's going to be easier to actually for me to use this way around so I can stick the bar in from this end, twiddle it and beat it. So we're going to give it a go, I'll get this bit hot. I'm going to start off with these rounded dies. See how they go. Should be warm by now. Yep, a little bit too warm, but never mind. Let's give it a go. <clears throat> Actually, it's surprisingly easy, to be fair. You don't actually have to hit it as hard as you think. In fact, I think that's almost cut through it. That's not bad, it was just a couple of blows. And even now when it's getting cold, just try and do it gently to smooth it off a bit. It's actually, almost yeah it has, it's almost knocked it in half. There you go, you get the idea what it can do. So that's a bit of round. Let's try a bit of square now, just a bit half inch. Get that warm. See what we can do with that. Right, these dies work quite well, but the only disadvantage is you can't actually see what you're doing. Uh, I don't know if it would be any better that way around, or actually probably that way around, so I can feed it in from this side and actually see what I'm doing. So I think I'll give that a go. Put it in that way. See if that helps. Got it a bit too warm again. Pretty typical. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, let's give it a go. Yeah, that's definitely better. You can see, see better. Still have to get in a slightly awkward position to look down and see it, but you can definitely see better. Yeah, there you go. This will focus. Focus, focus, focus. Come on. Bloody camera. Hopeless. Switching from. I think that's about the best you're going to get, I think. But anyway, you can see what it can do. It's slightly awkward because I haven't actually got a job for any of these. So until you've got a job, a specific purpose you want to do something with. Difficult to see, so we'll give these a go. Get them the right way around so they're both the same. Yeah, it's um, as I say, unless you've got a specific job, you can't really tell whether the, the tools are working properly. Um, let's give this a go. Let's stick it in the half inch side. Again, I can't really see what I'm up to. It's not going in the right place at the right time. I think it would probably be easier. Yeah, I think it's going to be easier to sort of rough it out slightly on the anvil and then do it in there to finish it off. 
but you get the idea. Let's sort of turn it around. I think I'm going to cut that end off because it's it's not quite right. I'm going to start again. And while I've still got this heat, what little heat there is left, I'm going to whack that off. Good shot of that. Straighten her out. I think just take the edges off of there, but I think really it would want to be sort of knocked down a little bit more by hand. But we'll see. That's what this tool is for. After all, let's see if we can work it this way. I'm putting it in on the corners so hopefully it doesn't get jammed and sort of try and cut a piece off off the sides. Yeah, it's easy to work, but it's, it's still not quite right. This. I think there must be a different technique for doing this. But hey ho, I've never used one of these before, so we're learning together. But you can get the idea, it, it will turn it down into quite a nice half inch round. Which if you wanted to push that through a bit of bar and rivet at the bottom, that would, that would do the job. If you want to put it on something like this, a bit of 5.8, I really do think you'd need to really narrow it down at this end first before you put it in the tool. So, that's that one. What else have we got to play with? Oh yeah, something else I wanted to do with these uh, is a bit of tube. I think that could be quite good fun. So, if I can find some tongs, a pair that will fit, everyone but, there we go, let's see these, these will do, they're close, give them a bit of a tighten up, get them hot ready to do that, but never mind, that's better. That'll be enough. Now I saw someone following a bit of tube on YouTube and it came out quite nicely so we'll see. Got it a little bit hot I think and that'll do. Now this is immediately much softer. You really don't need to hit it as hard, but you need to keep it moving to try and keep an even groove, otherwise you'll end up flattening it and you'll be all over the place. So keep it moving. And it looks like it's coming up quite nicely. Probably better than expected. Yeah, I rather like that. Yep, that's going to be good. Yep, like that. I'm going to do that a bit more. I don't know if you can see on here what I was talking about. All the scale. I said this in when I was making it, which is why I put the hole in the bottom. See, that's only from one go. Quite a lot of scale there, and if that gets caught down in the bottom die, then a hell of a job to get it out, which is, as I say, why I put that hole in the bottom so that if it happens, you can punch the bottom die out from underneath. So let's see if we can get the camera set back up again. I hope I'm not burning my tube. Go have a look. Ooh, it's getting a little bit warm. I think that'll be alright. 
again quite gentle just keep it moving quite satisfying this you'd never do it otherwise without this this tool and it's it's just happening in front of your eyes. Find another heat or so on that. That'll come right down to nothing. Yeah, I like that. That could make a really nice ball rush. If you did that closer to the end, then drew the end out into a point. Did the same on the other end and drew it out to uh, weld it on a bit of bar. That, that would be like a ball rush. Right, I'm going to give it a go on a bit of 5.8 see how we get on with that but for that we're going to try one of the other tools now this one I've been quite looking forward to trying because I've got in my mind what it should how it should um, finish the job or how it should make the job look but I'm really not sure. It's uh, going to be a real trial and error, this one. But we'll give it a go. See what happens. Right. Get it level. Turn it over, try and keep it in the same place. Once you've got the first grooves, you can locate it. You need to give it some. Yeah, it's uh, not doing what I anticipated yet. I've got a feeling that I've made it too shallow, or too deep, should I say. Yeah, it's coming up all right. It's quite a nice effect if that's just the effect you want, but that's not the effect I wanted. Um, it's getting a bit warm, I'm just going to cool that out. When I cut this in half, I cut it with a thin disc because I didn't want to lose too much of the radius, but I actually think I could have cut it with a fat disc. And I think I also want to change these edges. I think they want to be steeper. Yeah, see, I'm having to really hammer that too far, to be honest, to get what I was after. Yeah, it's done it, but it's it, it's done it much deeper than I wanted. Um, I wanted it as a decoration, a sort of lightweight decoration, that's pretty heavy decoration. Still not bad, if that's the sort of effect you wanted. Do two or three of those up the, up the bar. That looked quite nice, but the, the sides are a bit too steep. I think we're going to have to just make them a little bit... Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I think we're going to have to make these steeper, or less steep, so it always always tapers to nothing, and then even perhaps take a bit off the top so that the the, the radius there is, or the hollow, or whatever you like to call it, is is a lot less, and then hopefully you'll get the effect earlier on the steel without it being quite so deep. Anyway, as I say, it's all learning. Never used them before, and again. When you haven't got a specific job, oh, we'll try these ones out. Yeah, the last ones we haven't tried, I think, aren't they? Or nearly. I say, when you haven't got a specific job for a, a, a set of tools, or dies, let's try that the other way around, I think it would be easier to see. Um, yeah, you can't really figure out what you're, you're going to ex expect, or know what to expect when you're uh, just messing about. If you've got a specific job, you know what, what the end result is that you want. So, and make the tool accordingly, or adjust the tool accordingly, which is what I shall do with that last one.
Now I know what it does. I shall adjust it a little bit. So hopefully on the next job it will do exactly what I want it to do. Give this bit a half inch another go. See what happens on that. Now as I said before, I probably wouldn't use these to actually cut. Although, judging by that, you probably could quite easily. And that was a couple of fairly lightweight hits. And that's gone a fair old way. I don't really think I should have done that. All that. Because that's that really has almost cut it in half, I think. You can see that's that would be quite a nice starting point of a, a tenon. If I hadn't done it quite so deep. So I think what I'll do. Because I could probably start drawing the tenon out on the the anvil if I was going to do a tenon, but I'm going to try out the last set of dies that we haven't tried, which is the first set I made, which is the flat ones, completely flat. See what they do. I so I could do the tenon on the anvil, but we'll try it in here. Just for the hell of it. Yeah, it's doing the job. I dare say, if you wanted to just put a, a recess right the way around a bit of bar, just that width, half inch, that would do the job quite nicely. You can see what it will do. I'm no expert with it yet. I'm not saying that I ever will be, but this is literally the first time I've ever played with one of these tools. So, you can see there it's flattened it out quite nicely. So that's what it does. So really, um, what are we going to do? I oh, wonder what else we could do. We could. Um, Try those sort of a half cut dies, these ones, and see if we could put a groove lengthways that way down the bar. Be handy if we could. It'd be better if they weren't flush and they were more central, which I could I could actually make a tool like that so they came right down the middle. Um, that would be quite handy for this sort of job. See what happens. Probably do with a guide really to put it up against so you get it right down the middle. Again, that's something you'd play about with if you were actually doing the job. Doesn't look too bad. Take a bit more work, I think, really. But uh, you can see what it's doing. It'll focus. And if that was if that tool, that'd be nice if it was twisted. If you went a bit deeper with that, and if that tool was in the middle rather than flush, so it's a proper V in the middle, that would make quite a nice uh, groove for twisting. So yeah, that's another possibility. So, in conclusion, I'm not all that impressed with some of the tools, but like I said, you know, if you've got a specific job, then you know what to expect from the tool. You know what you want from the tool. It's got a burr on it now. Um, yeah, on the back there, just a little bit. So, it's, it's all playing about trial and error and making the tool for the job you want it to do. Um, One last little play with this. This is uh, my favourite so far. I might make a, a smaller one of these. That's half inch. I might make one sort of down to about quarter maybe. Um, just cool that out. So I'm going to have another go on the 5 8 bar. 
Yeah, it's a case of suck it and see, basically. This one is my favourite, though. Um, best so far. There you go. See, it does it with minimal effort, really. I think that's perhaps part of my problem. I'm hitting too hard. I'm expecting it to be hard. Um, but yeah, it makes some quite nice patterns. If you're putting that in a, the middle of a poker or something, or, well, anything, a few little different designs. Would certainly be much more interesting than a plain bit of bar. Yeah, definitely on that one I think again that would have been better if it had been narrower down to perhaps quarter but now I'm learning what the tools do and that's what the whole job's about and you see the bottom tool I've used this one quite a lot it's not a mark on the actual um, job end but the hit end you can see it's damaged quite a bit but it doesn't matter you know if you were doing millions of these or if you were using this all day all night you'd, you'd want to make it out of a bit of decent steel but if you're just doing it you know like me every so often it doesn't matter you just grind it off you can grind it back and back and back until it's virtually down to nothing and it's cheap because uh, a bit of tool steel it's going to be expensive and hard to make into a tool or into a die. So that's my lot. I'm going to go and walk the dog. Bugger off home. So thanks for watching the conclusion of the guillotine tool.